The Adoptable Pet of the Week is made possible by a grant from the Bafflin Foundation and by Whole Pet Veterinary in Westford. Hi, I'm Dr. Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. Stay tuned for my pet tip following the Adoptable Pet of the Week. <laughs> Stalker here from Westford Cat, and I am with Crystal Arna from the Lowell Humane Society for our weekly Adoptable Pet of the Week segment. How are you, Crystal? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Who do we have here? Who's this guy? This is Elvis. Elvis is a little bit grumpy. Um, he really does not do transition well, um, so moving from his prior home into the shelter has been pretty difficult for him. His prior owners said that once he's comfortable somewhere, he is much more relaxed, but this has been his general state since he's been here, unfortunately. Um, he's got his own little private room here, and we have all these shelves with uh, made out of old drawers that he can climb around on, um, and he does get out and move around when we're not in here, but he He's been a little grumpy since he joined us, so we're hoping somebody can look past that grumpiness and give him a shot. Uh, how long has he been at the shelter? Um, he's been with us now a, a good couple of weeks. We really tried letting him settle in slowly, um, you know, took him out of the cage and gave him this space to try and settle in. Could, probably almost a month now um, of just trying to let him get used to us, but I think he's really going to need a home environment to get really comfortable and, and feel good about it. Uh, why was he brought into the shelter? Um, so Elvis has IBD, um, so he's going to need a family that can kind of keep him on a good diet and keep an eye on that. It just became too much for his prior family uh, to deal with. He is a British short hair, um, and he's, he's awful cute. He really is awfully cute. He looks like a stuffed animal. <laughs> um, yeah. So what is that condition? Can you explain it? Yeah, he just has a sensitive um, digestive system. So he really just needs to be on, uh, you know, a bland diet and kind of keep an eye on that um, low stress. So being in the shelter is certainly not good for that. Um, so uh, a home with no, no kids and no other pets would be ideal for him. My cat that I have now um, had that same sort of personality when she was in the shelter. And she's a beautiful cat, and uh, we took a shot and took a chance, and she really came around. She's very loving and um, snuggly now and everything. So it, it, it is worth it just to, to give it a shot. Because it really is stressful for, for some pets in there. It is, yeah. The smell of the other animals and, you know, different staff members. We try to give them space and let them settle in. But, you know, there's different staff members in and out each day, so it can be tough. Um, this guy here, he, he did have the history, the family did say that he doesn't really like to be held or pet, but he likes to spend time in the same room as people and be near his people once he's comfortable. Um, I would guess that when he goes to a new home, he's going to need somebody real patient that's going to let him settle in just in one room of the house for, I would say, at least a month, if not longer. He's a real sensitive soul. Yeah, that's a cool room for him. Yeah, and he is uh, three years old. Okay, great. And if somebody would be interested in meeting Elvis, what should they do? Yeah, they can contact us uh, via our website or you can give us a call here at the shelter. Okay, Crystal, thanks a lot. Bye, Elvis. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. For Westford Cat, I'm Patty Stalker. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. We all love to spend time with our animals, and a car ride can be a fun activity for many dogs. While the picture of Fido's ears flying and tongue flapping in the breeze may bring a smile to our face, this travel plan overlooks the real safety risks for dogs in our cars. During automobile crashes, loose dogs can become severely injured. Additionally, when Fido's head hangs out the window, High wind speeds can bring foreign objects into contact with delicate eye tissue. Occasionally, loose dogs even attempt to jump from moving vehicles. Additionally, stressed and excited loose dogs can be very distracting for their humans, increasing our risk of accidents. Fortunately, there are many safe pet restraint options available. 
check out specially designed pet carriers, crates, or seat belts, and enjoy the ride without all the worry. Thanks for listening. See you next time.